Fresh. Avery Sherman. Da! Welcome back to another episode of the Avery Sherman Podcast. I'm your real trail meat, clean as a squeak host, Avery Sherman. This is episode 19. Thanks for being here with me. I want to give a shout out to my uh, to my mom, my dad, my sister, my baby, Zamari Zakai, and last but not least, my Connie Graham. And shout out to all the creators, the movers and the shakers, the thinkers, the ones who put this in action, and the masses. The ones who all make this a thing. Now, to the pod, man. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, once again, been on another. Once again, been on another hiatus, and uh, I apologize for that. But I am back. I am here, and uh, we're gonna try to keep the episodes rolling this time around. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a new setup. And now it's a little different. Um, something I kind of haven't spoke with the channel about, but stay tuned for just more videos and updates on how I got to this point. <laughs> um, and a lot has happened since the last episode. A lot, a lot. All type of different stuff. Really don't even know where to begin. And it's honestly too much to try to even do a quick, fast, and a hurry catch up. So, with that being said, we're going to um, dive in to this episode. Episode 19. Let's do it. Alright, so the first topic we got is the Kanye birth all the genres of the past 20 years. That was um, something that I made a question out of because he recently had an interview and was saying that he birthed all the genres of music. And him and Boosie was going back and forth and he was saying that he didn't birth White Me Down. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, it was just entertainment, man. It was funny to see him and Boosie go back and forth. But... On a more serious note, did Kanye birth all the genres of music for the past 20 years? So, I mean, I definitely feel like Kanye West had a big influence on Drake. Um, and a lot of the 2010 rap, uh, rap class from like, uh, I want to say I believe Big Sean's in there. I believe maybe even Wale in there. I feel like Style-wise, Kanye kind of has some influence on Wale a little bit. And um, musically, definitely definitely on uh, Drake and even like B.O.B. and uh, Lupe Fiasco and Kid Cudi. I want to throw Travis Scott in there as well. And um, sound-wise, 808s and Heartbreaks. That album, I, I believe, a lot of sounds today derive from that, from that sound, from that album, from the sounds of that album, and the whole sad rap. I mean, which is a newer thing and caught trend later than like immediately after 808s and Heartbreaks, but the whole sad rap stuff. I feel like Kanye. I won't say he started that, but like. 808s and Heartbreaks was like the first rap hip hop album of sad rap and it was good sonically and was received well by the fans so I do kind of feel like he kind of did birth all the genres but I uh, Ice from the Joe Budden podcast he made a, a very good valid point of Lil Wayne Lil Wayne definitely birthed a lot of the genres and sounds and looks of today as well so to close that one out I definitely would say yes Kanye West did birth maybe not all but a lot of the genres 
and, and sounds and looks of the past 20 years. You know, Oscar going to throw Lil Wayne in there as well. All right. Um, moving on to the next topic. Uh, what's the amount of money you would give someone for playing your numbers? So in the instance that you play lottery um, and you send someone to go play your lottery ticket and you give them the numbers to play, maybe, maybe you give them the money or you're going to reimburse them when they get back to you or when they get to you because today you can just call somebody on the phone and say, hey, could you go play my numbers for me real quick? I'll give you the money when I get here. Um, I'll give you the money when you get here. Um, so either whether you give them the money back for the ticket or they use their own money, what's the right amount to give someone who played your numbers? Um, me personally, I mean, on a small, on a small note, I mean, if they were like that anal about it or if they were just like, you know, like. If I just knew who I was dealing with and they were that type of person that just wants some of my earnings no matter what, if they took part in it, out of a $10 win, I would give them a dollar. Out of a uh, 100000 I'd probably give them a thousand. Out of a million, probably give them a hundred thousand. Uh, that's just me. I don't think they're entitled to half or anything like that. Or even like 1%, but I'd give at least 1%. It's just me personally. It was a, um interesting topic that popped up on the podcast that I was watching. The Joe Biden podcast, of course. <laughs> um, moving on to the next topic. Have you ever battled your girlfriend or boyfriend... You through music, like while your guys are like beefing, either living together in the home or around each other, or I uh, say back in MySpace days, like you would put a song on your page, and whatever that song on your page was was kind of like how you were feeling at the moment. So sometimes you would you would see that as well, like a girlfriend she caught her boyfriend cheating, so she may put a song up. And then the boyfriend's feeling bad, so he's trying to get her back, and he may put a song up. And then now they're back good, so she changes the song to a song, you know, that's about to have a relationship. <laughs> so, um, have you ever done it? Me, personally, yes. I have played songs around my girlfriend that I wanted her to catch hints from about how I was feeling. I have done that before. Uh, I don't know if it's like an immature thing or what or not. I'm not sure really. Like, I wouldn't consider it immature, but like, I don't know. Maybe it's like immature or something, but I don't know. I just think it's like a natural thing. I think people just kind of do it. Um, but on to the next topic. Um, moving along. Uh. Four bats. Who is four bats? Um, I don't know who four bats is, and honestly, I haven't heard the song that has made him like trending or popular or whatever. I haven't heard it like in circulation, like not while I've been out. None of my friends played it. None of my um, younger family members have told me about it or anything like that. But. I, I heard about him on the Joe Budden podcast. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, I looked him up. He's this artist who has a voice that you wouldn't expect to come from him. And, um, yeah, I don't know anybody who has a song. Well, I guess Drake remixed his song. But, oh, yeah, Kanye West did say it was his favorite artist, too. Um... Or, yeah, it was his favorite artist. And I guess, like, Drake signed him or something like that. But I'm not sure about all of this stuff. Um, I still, like I said, don't know who Four Bats really is. And the song, I haven't really heard it, honestly. But, I mean, 
I guess it's trending and it's cool and popular and popping. I actually have listened to like some of it. So let me stop saying I haven't heard it, but I have listened to some of it. I have heard him, but I haven't listened to like one of his whole songs and it wasn't super catchy to me. I don't know. Besides his voice being super unique, I'm not sure what the big the big deal is. Uh, besides maybe he's AI. Now that is a little more of an interesting topic. And yeah, I do kind of think that he's AI a little bit. Cause like I said, I've never heard of him. And he has this super unique voice that you wouldn't expect to come from him. And just popped up out of nowhere. And Drake remixed the song. Um, so that's that. Who is for Babs? On to the next uh, topic. Uh, this is like um, bouncing off the quiet, quiet on the set documentary about Nickelodeon. Me growing up being a child in the 90s Nickelodeon was a big part of my childhood I watched it almost probably like every day every day for the from first grade to fourth grade for sure and uh, I liked a lot of the shows that was on the network uh, with that being said all quiet I mean quiet on the set all quiet on the set or Quiet on the set. It's a sad documentary. Um, it talks about sexual assaults that took that took place to some of the characters that some of us may have grew up uh, watching. And um, it's sad, man. But tune into that. It's a good doc documentary. I watch. I haven't seen the actual documentary. But I watched like some clips and some different things on uh, YouTube about it. So there's that, but I do suggest going to check it out. Um, piggybacking off of that led led me down a different uh, trail of parenting. And would you let your child stay overnight without you for whatever Hollywood reason that they say they may need this? child to spend the night with them uh, to get to some type of work faster or easier or because they can have to do whatever for whatever reason would you me personally under no circumstances are any of my children staying overnight with any adult and some in in Hollywood for any business reasons. If it isn't my mom, my sister, or one of my relatives, my kids aren't spending the night with an adult. I really don't even let them spend the night with their friends or neighbors or kids. You know, kid their their friends, unless I know their their parents and meet their parents and things like that. And honestly, there's only been like two friends that my daughter has ever spent the night at house. And my son hasn't. So, me personally, this isn't like parent shaming or anything like that, but just me personally, I wouldn't allow it. Um, on to the next topic. Man. Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar does J. Cole and Drizzy. Met and Metro snapped the fuck out on that beat, man. Lost his rabbit ass mind, like. For real, for real. And Future went crazy on the chorus. Now, that's just a quick breakdown of the whole song, but man, nah. K. Dot Spaz, as usual, I mean. I got a lot of respect for K-Dot. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I mean, other than Drake being, you know what I'm saying, Young Money and being Lil Wayne, protege and coming up under Wayne, that's that's the main reason. And, I mean, obviously Drake's talented in his own right. But his main love that I get of Drake come from Lil Wayne. Like, you come up under Lil Wayne. So I give you that. 
off back. And then I give you your own flowers and love for your own talents. But that boy, and, and, now J. Cole saying, J. Cole, I give props for being, for J. Cole, for his talents. I don't give him no special love from coming up under Jay-Z or whatever because I ain't no big Jay-Z lover like that. I respect Jay-Z. I fuck with Jay-Z. But, like, Lil Wayne, my favorite. That's my GOAT. Or, you know what I'm saying? Other than Tupac or whatever. Like, Tupac and Wayne to me. Now, K-Dot, he don't come from up under nobody to my, you know what I'm saying? Like, I... I fuck with K Dot, man. I ain't gonna lie, like I fuck with K Dot. The man, the man wigged, man. The man wigged. Uh, go check it out. Uh, this thing is called like All That or This All That or something. I, I, I'm not. I can't remember the, the name of the song title, but go listen to Kendrick, Metro Boomin, and Future new song. Slapper. And. I wonder what Drake and J. Cole response gonna be for sure. Um with that being said, on to the next topic, moving along. I do wanna take a moment of silence for Haiti. Moment of silence for Haiti. Um Last I checked, which was about last week, they were going through it, man. Um, just like the regular citizens and civilians, the the people, the, the people of the country, they were they were going through it. Um, and I just want to send a prayer for them. All right, now moving on to the next topic, we got March Madness live in effect. Kentucky has already been knocked off. A few other underdog, underdogs have knocked off some higher ranked seeds. Um, it's a few good teams left. I'm pulling for some Big Ten teams. Maybe Auburn for Bruce Pearl. Bama's in there. A little love for Bama. But uh, haven't caught a full game yet. Looking forward to though. Definitely looking forward to. The Lakers. We got the Lakers balling. LeBron going crazy this year. As usual. Score 40,000 this year. Shout out to Brian for that. Uh, speaking of Brian, shout out to Brian. He just dropped his new podcast too. Uh, Mind the Game. Him and JJ Reddick. Uh, but D'Angelo Russell. He been going crazy. The Lakers in the tenth seed right now, man. Hopefully they can make a push, make the playoffs this year, and make a push for this uh, championship. Definitely Brian to bring home a ring this year. Moving on to the next little sports topic. We got the Minnesota Vikings. Finally moved on from Kirk Cousins. Can't believe it. Excited to see who we're going to go with next. But I am excited that we have moved on from Kirk Cousins. Um, been hearing rumors about the Steelers trying to trade for Justin Jefferson. Hope it does not happen. If the Vikings let Justin Jefferson uh, walk, I will no longer be a Minnesota Vikings fan until they win the Super Bowl. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> um, that was a quick run through of the topics that we have currently. Um, as far as me, I haven't been up to much just uh, working and uh, trying to accomplish the things that I need to accomplish in my personal life. Like uh, one thing that was uh, on my list, as sad as it may be, a little embarrassed to admit, but I haven't had my driver's license for all these years. I recently accomplished that couple months ago so uh, grateful for that and uh, thankful for that for sure we can finally drive around legal without watching over my shoulder it's a completely different feeling um, been going to the gym a lot lately 
and uh, trying to get back in shape and get my fitness together. Um, for those of you who don't know, I, I am looking towards a, and forward to a career in health and fitness and, and being a nutritionist and trying to get people together on their meal preps. So um, been trying to put that work in for myself and get some results and that way I can get people headed in the, in the right direction. Uh, I got a number of different personal ventures I'm looking to dive off into uh, this year and going into next year. So trying to get those things off the ground and rolling. Um, yeah. So as of now, currently in a in a new living space, uh, no longer uh, living in my old in my old living space. <laughs> I guess that kind of makes sense since I am in my new living space. But um, yep, yeah. and it's a little bit different. It's um, no longer um, at home with the kids, which is um, not not far miles and miles away like I've had like I have been in the past, but just not under the same roof with them. So it's a new feeling and. Sucks a little bit, but uh, been some adjusting, and uh, I've made it, and I'm surviving. But um, yeah, so it's a little update on what's been going going, and uh, yeah. So with that being said, we're gonna look to wrap up episode 19. I appreciate everyone for being there with me. Uh, for staying tuned and following along with the Avery Sherman podcast. I do apologize for the large hiatuses that have taken place and the gaps that have taken place in between and just the different content on the network as well. But um, as I always say, I'm looking to change that, looking to move forward in a better, brighter direction and a positive and, and direction and... Um, not letting obstacles and things pop up and stop me and stop my flow and my vibe and my energy because uh, a lot goes into podcasting more than people think besides just sitting here and talking, you know, especially when you do a solo podcast by yourself. Um, I am open to having a host, but I'm not forcing it on anyone and not necessarily, not necessarily out recruiting. So, yeah, when you're running a podcast by yourself, it uh, takes a little bit more. You know, um, spirits wise, you know, you, you kind of want to be in the mood, kind of got to be in the mood to talk and just sit alone, but still have some dialect, you know, and uh, sometimes personal things, personal things that you're going through in life can take you out of the spirit from that. So uh, that's a little explanation as to kind of why I have had hiatuses in the past and the most recent one. But as I said, we're looking to change that. And um, these should be becoming a lot more frequent and a lot more frequent and routine and consistent. Consistent. So, until next time, once again, thank you for being here with me on the Avery Sherman podcast. Um, you can catch me on social media. Um, my Facebook is uh, Biko with the Blicky, and. Um, my Instagram is out of orbit eighteen, and my Twitter, also known as X, is Heartthrob Biko. So yeah, check me out on those socials, and um, stay tuned for the next episode. Once again, thanks for being here. Peace. The Avery Sherman Podcast.